What's up, guys? It's your boy Giovanni, the G35 fam, back at it again with another video on the channel. Like always, guys, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, do me that favor. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up, share the video. Helps out in the YouTube algorithm. And, um, yeah, man, I just really appreciate the support, guys. Uh, like always, guys, uh, been talking too much, so let's get this video started. So, for today's video, guys, I thought I would give y'all up to date. And uh, let you know what's going on with the G. Now, the first part of the, I guess you could say this little series, or not so much a series, but uh, the first part of this issue that I was having was, um, if you remember, I was thinking it might be the alternator because in that video, um, I showed you all that the car was on. But as soon as I turned it off, the car did not uh, start back up. I was getting the right voltage at the battery. And for the alternator, it was getting the right voltage. And, uh, you know, I wasn't having any problems. But like I said, as soon as I turned the car off, nothing was lighting up. The battery still had power. But, um, yeah, I was still having an issue with the car moving. So, uh, looking at a, a lot of my uh, feedback from my subscribers and everybody in the comments down below. Appreciate the support, guys. Um I was looking at and did some more research and uh, just for some reason thought maybe I should just check the battery as far as the wiring and the terminals. Now there is a fuse link on the battery that uh, sometimes goes out. I checked all the fuses on the, uh, the, I guess you could say the fuse link and everything was good. Everything was toning out. I had no issues. Uh, the thing that I did notice was even though I didn't have a lot of corrosion, uh, some of the connections were a little loose. So what I ended up doing was I bought some uh, baking soda, got me a wire brush and some distilled water, and pretty much scrubbed the terminals, made sure everything was clean, and that way it got that good connection. Not only that, but I tightened everything down. Um, another thing that I didn't have on the car that I um, used to have but lost some of the pieces, so I had to order it was the uh the bracket for the battery holder i highly recommend getting one of those guys it prevents the battery from moving back and forth and uh yeah it really it comes in handy i wouldn't say it's a, a modification but it is something that uh is real is really recommended for the g35 i don't think they come with them actually but anyways mine did it so I put that back on, tightened everything back up, um, made sure everything was clean. And now uh, I've been able to turn the car on uh, without any issue as far as uh, starting up. So now I haven't, let's see. Now I haven't had any... Uh, issues with uh the, the car starting but um i haven't gone to go check the uh, alternator to make sure that the alternators uh what the status on that is so i might do that today but uh yeah the car's been able to start up which is a good thing the only issue that i've had is my rpm from the battery always being shut off and having the issues with starting now it doesn't work properly so uh, that might be something I might look into replacing the whole gauge cluster, being that my fuel gauge isn't properly uh, tuned. So, you know, I just might get that whole gauge cluster uh, calibrated and get another one so that way I could put that one in. We'll see how it goes, but I've heard that you can do that. But for the time being, I would say the main problem with the car was the termination, the connections and all that. So luckily I saved a, you know, a ton of money, even though, uh, I did have lifetime warranty on the alternator. I saved time and money because I don't have to put that on. Now I'm going to, you know, see how the car runs for the next week or two and see if I have any problems, check the voltage and all that. Now, uh, one of my friends who's also subscribed to my channel mentioned that they sell like a digital gauge cluster that you just plug into uh, your harness for like where you plug in your uh, the check you know your your check engine light and all that so I might invest in one of those y'all let me know 
if I should, uh, you know, get one of those. And then all you got to do is just hide the wire and it plugs in and it works as a uh, pretty much as a digital gauge cluster and gets you all your information on your your fuel, your oil pressure, your, you know, if you have a turbo vehicle, the, the boost pressure shows the, the voltage on your battery, your alternator. There's a lot of little things that I, I saw. So I might invest in one of those. Uh, Y'all let me know. But uh, for the most part, guys, yeah, the car's up and running. Just thought I'd give y'all up to date. Uh, if y'all have any of those symptoms or have any questions about that, I know I did a video on the battery, but I never did one, like, as far as, like, something that happened to me, like, with this whole issue with the alternator and all that, thinking it was an alternator. But uh, I did do some different research and found out that, you know, it could just always be the, the wiring or the, you know, the terminals. So make sure everything's always tight. And yeah, if like, like, if, like I mentioned, if y'all do uh, invest in something, I recommend investing in one of those uh, battery brackets. I also did a video on one of those on how to install it and everything. So yeah, but other than that, guys, just thought to give you a little up to date. If everything goes as planned, then I can start doing what I want to do and start modifying the g again uh, i just ran into that little issue so hopefully that's all it was but uh yeah guys like always if this is your first time tuning in put that thumbs up subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the next one peace